keeping well. I've got a super simple fly for you today. It is called the Okie Doki Buzzer, or a Chironomid as um, other people call them. I think it's designed to imitate the Dokken grub. Um, it was incredibly popular over in the UK back in the 80s and has remained popular. Um, and some fisheries banned it. it, it was so successful. I'm not really sure why the trout take it. It doesn't really look like it imitates anything in particular. You could say maggot, but maybe not again. Um, but it really, really works. And it could be it's just something the fish haven't seen, but I strongly recommend you tie some up and give them a go. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So in the vise, at a slightly jaunty angle, you'll notice I have a Togan's 3X strong scud hook in size 12. Um, thread is going to be uh, UTC fluorescent fire orange, um, but it can be any colour you want. This is for the thorax of the fly. I've got blacks, I've got greens, I've got oranges and reds. Uh, literally, you can make the choice. It's up to you. Globarite froth floss is also um, a great choice, and there's a multitude of colours there. And the only other thing you're going to need is some of this stuff which is plumber's tape, PTFE plumber's tape. You could use white thread, don't get me wrong, it's probably easier, but it doesn't give the same sheen and texture to the body that plumber's tape does, and I really, really like this. So let's get on and tie the fly. We are going to catch the thread on at the eye, um, and the reason I've got the hook at a slightly funny angle is purely um, because I want to go down into the bend, and I don't want that bend obscured by the jaws of my wonderful HMH tying vise. So I'm going to snip off the excess and then keep going down. Try and make the turns as neat as possible, um, as close as possible. It, if you leave a bit of a gap it doesn't matter too much because you won't see any of this thread through the plumber's tape. Uh, as I say the thread is only for the thorax. Um, and what we want to do, <clears throat> as always, is have two-thirds body one third thorax. So just bear that in mind when you're um, when you're tying the fly. So I've cut off a strip of plumber's tape, as you can see it here, and I've just torn it lengthways down the middle so it's in half. So you've got two strips, and I've cut a slight point at one end to help tie in. Um, so we're just going to tie that in. And what I would say is um, this is a little bit fiddly to deal with. So just bear that in mind. It likes to fold on itself. It likes to muck about and misbehave and all that sort of jazz. So once you've done that, move your thread back up to the eye of the hook. And then it is literally just a question of wrapping the plumber's tape uh, to cover all of the fluorescent fire orange thread. Let's move that and tilt the vise slightly so that we don't shred the tape on the point of these very sharp Togan's hooks. And then we're just going to put a bit of tension on the tape, as you can see, and work our way up. And this stuff, because it's plumber's tape, it's designed to stop leaks. It sits nicely round the bend of the hook, um, sticks to itself. It's just, it's a fantastic piece of material, really. And then when you get to the eye of the hook, Careful with the point, like I said. Um, we're just going to do one more wrap there, and then we're going to tie it off. There we go. Just straight that up so you can see. So a couple of turns in front, a couple of turns behind, one more turn in front, snip off the excess. The beauty of plumber's tape is it's so cheap. You could use that for another fly if you wanted to, but I tend not to once I've used it once because it's all folded over on itself. So let's tidy up a bit, straighten the hook in the vise so that the thread doesn't fall off the end. And then it's a question of building a thorax, you know, sort of the rugby ball shape. So a third, probably down to the point of the hook, and it's just a question of building the thread wraps to make that bulbous. I keep going, so feel free to talk amongst yourselves whilst I do this, until you have a head 
that you're happy with. This is the trigger point for the trout, along with the bright white body, obviously. Um, but when you're happy, which I am with that, whip finish. Three, I do two. So pull it tight, go again, just for security. One, two, three. Pull it tight, snip off your excess. And you are done. That's it, the okie dokie buzzer. As I say, try different colours. If you can get hold of plumber's tape, use plumber's tape. The colour of it, it's shiny, the texture's amazing. Um, if you can't, then just use some white thread. But give it a go, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Tight lines, see you next time. Thanks.